been making headlines everywhere he goes. Let's see what he has to say today. Please welcome presidential hopeful Donald Trump. Donald Trump gets a standing ovation Wednesday on Live with Kelly and Michael. Some in the audience seem to hesitate, but the celebrity-friendly crowd warmly received the GOP frontrunner. When he sat when down, they got right, right down to business. Now let's get down to what everybody's talking about. Okay. Yesterday, a few days ago, you said about banning Muslims from coming into the country. Was that something that you think would be um, a, you think would be adopted or could be adopted? Or is that something that you just said to be outrageous? No, no, not to be outrageous. We're going to have tremendous problems. It's getting worse and worse. And those problems are coming from a certain sector. Now, Here's Megan Alexander. The backlash continued here in Trump's hometown as protesters gathered outside City Hall, denouncing his call to ban Muslims from entering the United States. This is the real New York, not what Donald Trump is presenting and espousing and his vitriol. And this shocking front page of the Daily News, it's a cartoon of Trump beheading the Statue of Liberty. In an interview with Barbara Walters that aired Tuesday night, Trump denied that he's anti-Muslim. Do you regret your ban on Muslims, which some people think is, is un-American? Not at all. We have to do the right thing. Somebody in this country has to say what's right. I have great respect and love. I have people that I have tremendous relationships with. They're Muslim. And Barbara, they agree with me 100%. But there's growing concern about threats being directed at Muslims in America. In St. Louis, this voicemail was left at a mosque. Come my way, and I'll bury you all. Cut your head off. In Dallas. I hope you get sprayed with pig blood, okay? You are just In Philadelphia, a surveillance camera captured a pig's head being tossed at a mosque. The, the city's mayor, with religious leaders surrounding him, called Trump ignorant, and then something we can't say on TV. He I mean, he, I mean, what do you, I mean, uh, I apologize, reverends.